Okay, so this is an elderly gentleman that apparently has a rectal polyp. Uh, presumably, they want us to evaluate it just to see if it's uh, can be. Uh, to see if it's uh, endoscopically resectable. Ça c'est la caméra. Excusez-moi. Voilà. We uh, we you know we 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 do primarily just linear. We keep the the radioscope primarily only for these rectal cases, but for everything else, we use the linear. You can do these with the linear as well, but uh, it's just a little easier with, with the radio just to go in and, and look around. So you can see the polyp uh, endoscopically right here, which looks a little strange. Eh? It's a little bit uh, uh, aggressive looking. And what's going on up there? Yeah, so I'm just going to try and go a little bit beyond it. Si c'est trop sensible, just a dire, okay? So we just give our patients a. Uh, 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 fleet enema, and that's it. Okay, a couple fleets, and that's it. No sedation. You, you, you can give them sedation if you want, but we find that it's generally not necessary. So we've gone above it here. That looks good. So you just want to stay in the center. Uh, again, uh, a lot of people would put water in here. I don't. I don't put water. I don't think it's really necessary. If if I'm having trouble getting good imaging. Then I may put in some water, but but generally I don't think it's uh, it's necessary. I'm just putting the balloon up as big as I can here. Okay, and just pulling back. Okay, where did it go? Is it there again? Hold on, I went up quite far. Okay, there it is. This is, might be a little bit difficult to look at actually. So what you want to do is look at it endoscopically, and then go towards it with your up down. And that way you know where to look on the ultrasound. So if I'm going up here, I'm actually going down on the ultrasound. And I like to keep what I'm looking at in the bottom part of the screen. I'm just sucking some of the water over the lesion here. He had some water in his rectum anyway. So you can see the lesion here at 6 o'clock. And I'm just look, going in and out over it. And it, all, it, it looks uh, generally superficial. Uh, I think it's uh, very difficult uh, in these big lesions sometimes to say whether there's involvement of the submucosa, but uh, as long as there's no obvious involvement of the internal wall of the muscle, and if it's supple, you know, you go up against it, it's moving around and stuff like that, then I think it's generally safe to say that it's probably endoscopically resectable. So if I look at this, yeah, 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 I think so. I can see it the whole time. And you don't want to be too, uh, you know, looking at uh, way up close and, and uh, getting, you know, too close because you start seeing things that aren't there. But overall, I look at this. It looks like it's, uh, it's okay to me. Uh, I'm just going to start taping this as well. So I don't, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit as well also. Why did that do that? Okay. So just coming back in and out over it, looking again here, I can see the, um, the in internal wall of the muscularis here, so just focus on that. And you don't want to compress anything. So overall, I think this looks okay. You know, it's a little lumpy bumpy here, but still I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. And the bottom line is, in a sense, you know, you, you don't really need EUS for this. The, the ultimate test is going, to be, is, is going to be whether it lifts or not when you try and do the polypectomy. So if you have any doubts, uh, I, you know, if it's not an obvious T2, then I'll tell them just to try and do it. And then, they, as I say, if the, if the lifting sign is not there, then you don't, then you don't do it. Uh, and then we're also looking for nodes. Obviously, if there's nodes, that can make a difference. And this is one situation where if you had nodes, biopsying the nodes and showing that there's tumor in the nodes would obviously change uh, management there. So I think this looks like a superficial lesion. And I think they can try and do either an endoscopic or an endoanal excision. And that's it.